When I hear that pirate's parrot cussing like a sailor, I can picture Jean Lafitte with a sailboat and horse trailer. From New Orleans to Port Arthur, they drew a line in the sand, and only outlaws could cross it, hauling boat loads of contraband. So all the cowboys, the riding seahorses, between Texas and Louisiana. So all the cowboys, riding seahorses, that skull and bones a strange guckle brand. There's a little baby. Come on, look, come on, little baby. Come on. Might have to carry him. You don't know where your mama went. Come on over here. Come on. Come on, cow cow. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Don't try and go through the barbed wire, please. Come on. It's okay, baby. Oh shoot. He thinks he was the mama went over there. Might have to try and catch him. Come on, little baby. It's okay. Come this way. Under the wire. Come on, little baby. It's okay. You don't know where your mama went, did you? Come on. It's okay. We're going to go find your mama. Come on, little guy. Come on, little baby. Come on. Come on, little baby. Come on. It's okay. And I just got pooped on completely, and so did the camera. Great. Oh, great. Ranger, that's your name. Mr. Poopy Head had to carry him. That's not good. Come on. Come on, dude, you gotta go. It's okay, it's okay. Yep. And I got pooped on. 100% got pooped on. Thanks, dude. So you need to go find your mama right now before I puke, because this is gross. Mama's over here in this beautiful grass. And I gotta go change shirts right now. Well, that sucks, because that is actual poop from Little Ranger. So that there, Mr. Pooper, on me, that's Little Ranger. What's funny is, is that uh, Nicole um, actually came up with that name right before the video posted, and then we had one of our viewers, Antonio Souza, I think I'm getting your name right, come up with Ranger as well. So you know what? We said, let's go with Ranger. I'm kind of, kind of feeling Pooper right now, because he pooped on me. Well, hopefully I only feel that way for a little bit, and that doesn't happen again because that was that was pretty gross. That was that was pretty gross. But as you can see, his mama and the rest of the herd are super happy on this amazing pasture. Remember, this is the pasture that we hit is about a little over three weeks ago now, and we took it down pretty good. And it's got a ton of clover in it, and I want to make sure that we left enough in order for it to go to seed. Well, as you can see. It has more than gone to seed. It has absolutely more than gone to seed. So we're going to have, this might be an issue next year when, uh, when the clover comes back up. Because you don't want too much clover because it can cause the cows to bloat. But Rose, your baby pooped on me. Okay, you got to appreciate me, okay? Because your baby pooped on me. I had to go inside and change my shirt because I just could not take that smell. But what a crappy way to start the day. I mean, I thought it was going to go all smooth call the cows through onto their favorite pasture and you know show you guys what we got going on here what we got going on here because look how beautiful it is out look how beautiful it is out and then you find pooper here just on the other side of the wire because he just wants to mess with me and I woke up this morning all excited because you know the cows when we move on to this pasture they get all happy they came running they you saw them come through the gate all all yeah we're coming to our favorite pasture we're gonna have ice cream all day long probably for the next four maybe five days I've actually you can see how much I've tightened them up like I'm giving them 
this whole field here is about it's 2.34 acres something like that okay right now this is probably about half an acre if uh, yeah about half an acre so they're gonna stay here at least four days um maybe five i know there's your baby there's your baby okay can you tell him not to poop on me again skywalker's peed on me but he didn't poop on me he pooped on me okay go with your mama your mama's calling you it's okay see look see look look who's calling see that's your baby okay you're fine it's okay your baby didn't poop on me your baby's about to come out look at that belly I think she she might be next. A lot of you on the last video guessed that uh, Betty would be next, and I think you're right. But let me show you the setup that we have going on here too, okay? We have the cabs. You see the three cabs there? Where's uh, cat number four? Where's where's he at? Oh, he's like, look, you can see barely, look, that's, that, okay, that's how tall our clover is. You can barely see him in how tall our clover is. It's ridiculous in this field. But these calves, they go on the other side of the wire, and I don't mind it because they can just get right underneath and they kind of creep graze. So they get the best of the best of the best, which is what we want our calves to have. But they right there, including Skywalker, because you can still just go underneath the wire, creep graze, and they don't go far from, from their mamas. They just go like right on the side of the wire, maybe to the, the, you know, the next paddock is probably gonna go right about there tomorrow. That's about as far as they wander off. And then they come back, suck. Yeah, look at Betty, wow. That might happen, that might happen today. You almost had a twin. And it just works out really well because the cabs can go back underneath. Now, if you put up two wires, they wouldn't be able to do this. And then you could run into a problem. This is why we do one wire, not two wires. Because say, little cabs here got, you know, they got through the second wire, but they're gonna get shocked. And if they get shocked, they end up on this side of the wire and they probably won't cross it again until uh until the wire gets taken down so that you're missing a whole day of them sucking on mama of mama being able to fully protect them and they're you know that's just not good for them especially like little ranger if he's not able to suck on mama today that's not a good thing so that's why one wire much much better you can either go one wire or you have to go like three or four don't do you know to where the the calves definitely won't cross it then the way we avoid that is putting the wire kind of high-ish to where it's about it's about 30 inches, um, 30 inches off the ground, so the calves can still just scoot underneath there. But this wire right here, it's sagging a little bit, and he just he just got shocked, so it might just uh, that might just throw out my whole theory completely. See, look, see, he's gonna get shocked again. He's trying to figure out what that was. So, see if he if he goes a day without milk or a couple hours, it's right we're right in front of the house. Um, so I'll be able to watch him. Not a big deal, but for him, that'd be a big deal. But I think he'll find a better spot that, that's a little bit higher and then uh, scoot back underneath. What amazes me is these calves, they're just a couple days old. After just a couple days, they're eating on grass a lot. Not just nibbling, but munching down. And you know what? The faster that they can, the, or the, the least amount of pressure they can put on mama, the better. And these two here, fighting over the mineral. They're competing for a spot in the herd, like they're jockeying for who's on top. And they're about the same size, they're sisters. And hopefully they'll be giving us a baby sometime, probably probably late summer for them. Probably late summer. And you, you're being, you're being a really good mama. That's Tex's mama. But look and see, can you find him? Can you find Tex? I'm zoomed in as much as I can. But he's actually right, right, right there, covered by the clover. That's how long it is. I really just wish that our entire farm looked like this because if it if our entire farm looked like this and this might not be half an acre um you know this is 26 cows and two llamas not all of them are full animal units some of them are you know a couple days old but we're, if we're able to tighten them up this much my gosh we could have how many cow days per acre would we get out of this a lot just a lot and, and if you talk to your local NRCS office, they loan out on cows. I think it's like one cow for every five acres. That's what they'll give a loan on. So if you have 10 acres and you want to buy some cows and if you want to get a loan on it, don't recommend that. But they'll only give you a loan on two cows. They're just those two right there. You can have a bull and uh, a cow. That's it. On 30 acres, we'd only be allowed to get a loan on six. 
We have 26 here and two llamas. This is nuts. And we say 30 acres, but some of it is the, the house. So we wouldn't be able to get a loan on that or like what, what they'd come out and measure the ponds because they can't graze the ponds. Huh. No, that's strawberry. You can't graze in a pond, can you? No. But look at this. Our stocking density is so high. It's going to decrease real, real soon when uh, once across the street, way over there. Uh, we're about two weeks away from that, moving the cows over there. So we will be able to decrease our stocking density a little bit and take some pressure off and grow up. Hopefully, hopefully a lot of uh, winter stockpile this year because we don't know how hay prices are going to be. But that being said, this half an acre that we might have them on right now, about maybe a little bit, a little bit, a little, maybe a little bit less than half an acre that they're on right now. Um, we can probably go down to a quarter of an acre. And next thing you know, we're doing maybe 90, 120 day rotations. The, the grass is getting way up to here. That'd be great in the summertime because here, you, we don't know if we're going to get a drought again. Hi, tiger. Huh. Sound good? Are you going to stay? He's one of the steers that are going to stay on this side. The other steers, him and Rusty will stay. The other steers are going. But look at his horns. That's actually pretty cool. With this coloring, they're starting to twist. If they twist, hey, hey, hey. Can, can we be nice? Can we be nice? Yeah, okay. What? You don't want, you don't want uh, Ruby to, you don't want um, Strawberry to go near Jordan? Is that your boyfriend? Look at him, man. He is a bull. He is a bull. That That's right there is an impressive, perfect looking bull. He probably weighs anywhere from 950 to 1050. And that's what we want. We don't want a 2,000 pound bull. Why? Because his calves are going to be a lot, lot bigger. Our calves, so far, so far. Let's knock on... Let's knock on everything, okay? We're five for five with first calf heifers and zero issues. They've all been born at night, except for Rosemary. She was born in the afternoon, but I didn't even see her. Uh, I didn't see it happen. I never had to assist. I don't have to do anything. All of them took the babies, no problem. All the babies, besides Skywalker, is half his genetics. And if we get a herd full of bulls like him or cows like him, that's great. Got lucky with you, buddy, huh? Got real lucky with you. I couldn't ask for a better bull and nice and actually really nice look at that oh yeah you my buddy you my buddy now you me my buddy can i touch your horn you touch your horn okay fine you don't like it so with that i'm just going to finish filling up their water and sign off here tomorrow we're going to see how small we can make this because if we can i know for sure we can get four days out of this 100 percent. if we can get five way better when we reduce our stocking density we might be able to get 10 to 12 days just out of this two and two third two and a third acres nuts so to keep seeing more of this and to see if mr poop were over here ranger huh, will poop on me again hit the subscribe button down below ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos hit the like button because it helps boost us up in the youtube algorithm drop a comment if you like all right and remember remember this don't get pooped on today okay if you don't get pooped on having a better day than me all right bye